Hey guys! So today I wanted to film a tutorial for making guitar pick beaded bracelets like so. They're super fun and easy to make. I know it's not an original idea. I've been making jewelry since I and selling on craft shows, I should say, probably since I was about 14. So I've been making a lot of jewelry, but not with guitar picks. So I thought today I would do a tutorial on it and show you guys how it's done. So first I decided to use these Fender guitar picks. I like playing with the medium ones and I have a lot of them. So I'm like, I'm just gonna make a bracelet, it'll be cool. So what you do first is you take this tool, the pliers to poke the hole into the guitar pick. So I usually just kind of eyeball it. There probably is a way you could like measure it, but I just like to live life on the edge. So I just find a spot it's pretty close to in the middle. You can kind of see it right here. Looks pretty close, right? Looks good. All right. Let's go ahead and poke the hole. Now it is going to pop out the other end, so I like to catch that little piece of plastic. There you go. You got the hole. It's awesome. So then I take these pliers, right? And I have jump rings that are split jump rings. I'll add links for all the things, all the places you can buy all this stuff online or at the store. So I'll add links in the description, so look out for that. So then I take these other flat pliers right here. That way you can open up your jump ring, like so. See, it's so cool. Yeah, okay. So then I hook it on, or put it through the hole of my guitar pick, like so. And then close it up. I usually let it kind of overlap, like let's see. So yeah, it's not exactly to put together because I don't want the string, the stretchy string to fall through the crack. And I've had that happen many times before, all the years of making jewelry. So then I like to just kind of make sure it's really sealed up and you can kind of like play with the pliers and the jump ring until you got it. Okay, so there you go, like that. So nice. Then I take my stretch cord, and this is 0.8 millimeter stretch cord. There's also 0.5 that I like to use, but for bigger beads, I like using this bigger string. It's super stretchy, super fun. All right, and then, now I've used a lot of crimp beads over the years, like really, really cheap, crappy ones, so like really nice, fancy ones. And these are my favorite, they're Beadalon. You can see it, Beadalon, right there. So cool, they're these little itty bitty tubes, they're so cute. And this is the one that's number four. So it's a little bit bigger. Actually, it is the biggest out of all of the crimp beads. So just grab one and I just slide it right onto the string. I don't usually cut the string because then when you make the bracelet, you have wasted string you could use for another project. And I like to do things kind of cost efficient. So I just keep it on there. Now is the fun part. You can put whatever kind of beads you want on with the match your bracelet. I'm going to go for some random beads. I have little pearls and things I got from the store. These little guys just kind of go over it, kind of cool. Or I have some of these guys. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Some little Swarovski beads. So now we are going to string the beads onto the stretchy string to make this really cool bracelet with this little guitar pick right here. I have, I picked out, oh my gosh, that's all right, that happens. I picked out these beads right here. Oh my gosh, have you, ever, have you ever made a bracelet and then you string all the beads on and they just like fall right off? That might happen today. Oh, I also have, what are these? They're summer colored beads. Look like this. They're a little itty bitty. You can't really see. Well, you can kind of see. Oh, there you go. Now you see them. All right. Super tiny. Super fun. I would say while you're stringing them on, just kind of make up the pattern. I mean, you can make it up as you go. You can plan ahead. I've done both. They both work. By the way, I like drinking coffee while I make jewelry. It's great. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to string, I think, two of these little itty bitty little guys on like that. They just fell to the bottom, but that's okay because they're on there. And then I think I'm going to do, we'll do purples. I like the purples. So I have this little purple pearl going on here. It's on the next one. Put two more little, you can see them, two little itty bitty guys right there. Super cool. And then I'll do these little purple things. Dark purple, I like it. And then, see, the blue kind of matched, right? Doesn't look good. The blue matched. All right, cool. We'll use that one too. 
So then I'll put two more beads on and then one of these little potato-y pearl looking things are cool. Put two more beads on with the little itty bitty beads, little seed beads. People like to refer to them there. And then put on a Swarovski bead. So you have something that looks like this. Cool. It's fun. I like it. It's colorful. It's sparkly. All right. So you just do that a bunch of times and you'll have a bracelet. All right, guys. So eventually, a few minutes later or a few more cups of coffee later, I mean, I guess it depends on how long you decide to take. But anyway, a few minutes later, you will have something that looks kind of like this with whatever pattern you decided to use. Super cool. And I usually make it to fit my wrist or if I'm making them um, smaller or bigger sizes, I'll just make them bigger or smaller. But it fits. For the most part, it's pretty nice. Pretty cool. Okay, remember that little loop split ring that we put onto the guitar pick? Just slide that right on there like so. Like this. So I just push all, oh by the way, it's the end of my string on my little spool, so it just kind of fell off. But it's all good, it's all good. So push it to the end, slowly but surely. Sometimes the little beads like to put up a little bit of a fight. You just tell them who's boss. Okay, like so you have a little bit of string here. And you see the crimp bead? A little guy. Right there. Then you have your string, right? Like so. You want to take this little bit and put it through the crimp bead. Like so. And then you get a crimp tool. It's kind of like this. This is my favorite. Right here. And you have this string in your hands, right? Take the crimp tool. Crimp down. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like little. You can see that little guy. There you go. Then you use the the crimp that's on the, the closest to the tip. This one. And wait, the little bowl, little shape that you just made. You gotta make sure you close it off so there isn't a pit in the center, if you would say. It's really small, you'd have to do it and then you'll see what I'm talking about. So then I closed it up together. And usually that keeps it pretty secure. But in my experience, it can still sometimes slide out even though I'm using pretty thick, stretchy string and I have a decent sized crimp bead. So I go back to the pliers and then I just flatten it even more so. Cause I'm paranoid. No, I just don't want it to break off, honestly. And I just make sure it's secure. Then what I also like to do, is I like to tie it on top of that. So it's doubly secure. Cause I've had it where even when it's tied in the knot, it still comes undone. You can probably secure it with glue, but like, don't always trust myself with super glue. Then I tie a knot. Then I tie another one and make sure it's like super secure. I like to pull a couple times. Yeah. Tell that string who's boss. You get it nice and tight, right? Okay. And then after you've pulled on it and make it super tight, I just cut off the ends like so. So it looks like that. There you go. Got a super cool guitar pick bracelet. Super fun. The colors are nice. Nice for summer. If you lose guitar pick and you're playing, you can be like, oh my gosh, it's a good thing I have a pick. So anyway, there you go. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.